The cylindrical pressure vessel shown in the figure has an inside diameter of 610 millimeter and a wall thickness of 3 millimeter. It's made from aluminum alloy that has the modulus of elasticity of 70 gigapascal and the shear modulus of 26.3 gigapascals. Two strain gauges are mounted on the exterior surface of the cylinder at right angles to each other. However, the angle is not known. The angle of theta is not known. If the strains measured by two gauges are 360 and 975, what is the pressure in the vessel? The internal diameter is 610, radius is 305 millimeters, thickness is 3, modulus of elasticity and G are given, and I can determine Poisson's ratio from relationship between three material properties. Also, there are some hidden information. Tau XY in the original plane is zero because on the, on the pressure vessels there is no shear stress. Also, there is no shear strain on the original plane, right? So, I'm going to write down strains in the x and y directions. Epsilon x is longitudinal strain, P d over 4 te or pr over 2 te multiplied by 1 minus 2 nu everything is known but pressure so that would be 247 p similar to that we can determine strain in the y direction which is hoop strain and that would be 1213 p so we have determined internal strains in x and y direction now we need to rotate that to get to nt directions right but we don't know how much is theta. How can we solve this problem? To solve that, we can form a system of equations by strain transformation. Note that I removed tau xy because I already know that is zero. Let's plug the values that we have for this case. In this equation, p and theta are unknown. We don't know how much are these two parameters. But we can form another equation by epsilon t. Again, in that equation, p and theta are unknown. So we have two equations, two unknowns that could be solved for determining theta and p. In this case, p is 914 kilopascals. But there is another way which is way faster than this one. And that is using strain invariance. We discussed about it in stress transformation. We know that strains in two perpendicular directions are always constant. So epsilon x plus epsilon y is equal to epsilon n plus epsilon t. Epsilon x is 247p, epsilon y is 1213p, epsilon n and epsilon t are given. So there is just one unknown. I can determine how much is p.